Alright, welcome back. Oh, man. I am sore today. Whew. Alright. And go ahead and uh, do the Chapter 8 mission. Let's see what I need to do here. Should be fine. Top that off. Uh. Oh, wait. I don't use you anymore. That's right. Whatever. It's 500 gold. I can waste 500 gold on to do. That's fine. Yep. And that should be good. Oh, I need to give somebody a uh, key. Ingrid, my friend. You get the honor of opening chess. Alright, let's go ahead and get this started. Remar Calamity, a very easy mission actually. We've got to go, now. The situation in Ramayar village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Kill! Kill! Ah! <laughs> On here. I... Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Don't waste your time on me. Saving the villagers is far more important. We haven't a moment to lose. What can we do amid such confusion? We'll have to take up arms against the villagers who are rampaging. If we strike carefully, it should be possible to spare their lives. Oh dear. Isn't there a more peaceful way to deal with this? No matter how long it takes, we'll need to check and rescue them all, one at a time. Those who have gone mad may be victims themselves. Is it possible to save them? Well, saving the poor people who aren't crazy is definitely our top priority. Let's get on with it. Slow down, Annette. It won't do anyone any good if we panic and get injured ourselves. Isn't that... Your Highness, suspicious figures spotted in the village. They seem to be... watching the chaos. Are they the ones responsible for this madness? If so, it's clear what must be done. Kill them all. Don't let a single one of them escape! Sever their limbs and crush their wicked skulls! Homeboy needs to take a chill pill. He's not wrong though, that is about uh, is uh, what's about to happen to him, because these boys about to get ran the fuck over. Ah, uh, let me see, let me see. I'm not prepared for this at all, actually, as it turns out. Um do, do, do. Eh, okie dokie. First, the squad. Get out. You're in. I lied. You're in. Leone continues to be our backup person. Um. Uh. Oh, right. You fly. <laughs> Alright, whatever. There you go, happy. Um, otherwise, who gets Leone? Sylvain gets Leone. Sylvain does not get Leone. Fuck, oh, yeah, he does. Okay, good. Alright, 
Oh, let me itch my ear real quick. <sighs> okay. So we got two chests on this map. There's a giant shell in this one. And there's a, I think it's a horse slayer? Yeah. There's a horse slayer in this one. Um, there are a bunch of neutral NPCs. If you save all of them, you get an extra large bullion. And if you save at least three of them, you also get a free advanced seal, which if you saw those things are like 3,000 gold a pop or whatever, so that's nice. Otherwise, um, general strategy for this one is we got Homeboy here. He's actually the boss, as you may suspect, based on his positioning. And, uh, oh, what turn does that ape show up? After reaching row 11, I wish it would just... Whoever, like, wrote this, like, I get why they did it that way, but you should really just, like, draw a fucking line on the map. So I think there's, like, uh, a line. It's, like, either this line or this line right here. Whenever you cross, whatever, wherever that line is in this area, the Death Knight comes in up here. But unlike the last two times we've encountered him, he moves, and he moves quickly. So he, he always goes this way. The trees always slow him down just enough to get Lysithia up there to murder him. So that's what we'll be doing on that front. Otherwise... Got Felix, Petra, Sylvain. So we're going to have Byleth cover the left side, save all the villagers over here. Dimitri and Lysithia and Ingrid will handle the right including the Death Knight, and everyone else is going through the middle, and whoever gets to the boss first gets to kill. That's basically how it's going to go. And Ingrid is on chest opening duty. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Stay focused. Kill. Kill. And what's wrong with your eyes, bruh? Thank you. These guys are usually pretty smart about using the vulneries properly, so you don't have to worry about a lot of them taking damage. They usually do, so that is not a big deal. Uh, yellow. Oh well, that's life, you know. Here goes. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess he, I guess that guy was just destined to die to Felix. I was hoping to give the kill to Sylvain, but I guess that's not happening. Do I have like a steel axe? I don't, huh? Okay. Easy. Ready. Ooh, she's got a steel ants equipped. Whoops. Oh well, that's fine. I'll give it my all. I'll cut through. Leave it to me. I've never actually seen one of them just ignore a villager for somebody else. That's kind of funny. Alright, so we got three of these, so I'm just gonna bonk. And he's dead. F. Meanwhile, the boar will obviously murder this poor man. Uh, 
There's some reinforcements. This is fine. I forgot about those reinforcements, but honestly, these guys are really weak. So, it, eh, it's whatever. You can deal with them. It's not hard. And you do also have Gerald here to take some hits if you really need it. And I will say one annoying thing about the um, NPCs here is uh, if they do well enough against these guys, which they seem to, even on Maddening, They'll kind of just run at the boss and like trigger the Death Knight early. As well as the boss early, because the boss also moves too, so if they move in the boss's aggro range, the boss will actually start running at you. <laughs> and that, and like, it's, yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, so soon. They can get in the range of him and just, he'll just come in hard as fuck. It's not a particularly strong boss, but... Another thing I noticed when I played through this map last time that I'd never noticed before, if you don't actually kill all the guys attacking the villagers before you end the map, it won't count as you saving all of the villagers for some reason. So that's uh, another fun thing you have to keep an eye on. Just FYI. One thing I wish they did in this game was give people fancier crit animations like they did in the older games. That was awesome. And everybody's just gonna... It's just gonna be a clusterfuck in these woods, I can tell. Stop, Dimitri! I want to defeat Ingrid, damn it! What's wrong with you? Oh my god, you got an awful level up. Actually, though, fuck that. I let you get that. I don't have to let you get that. I actually think I do have to let him get it. Feels Stay bad, here. man. Oh well. Leave it to me. I'll cut through. I guess I'll just suck it up. Whatever. No, oh, sure you don't crit him this time. Bet you get the same level up though. Hey. Garbage. Honestly, how does he even get a level up that bad? What are you doing here? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrick Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. I'm shocked and amazed he was actually the boss. Wow. I'll have a bit of fun here, too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. Oh, and then Gerald just murders this poor man. Rip. Okay, he's just going. Alright. <laughs> Looks like Dimitri might be killing the boss. I don't know. How do 
don't know, man. I've seen him stand still. I've seen him move. I've seen him wiggle around all over the map. Just, oh. Oh, dude. Oh. That's embarrassing. Oh, that's embarrassing. Imagine getting just wrecked by some crazed loon. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I guess Solon's decided he's team, like, up or whatever, so... Yeah, I was gonna say, don't steal my XP, you fuck. Stay focused. Fuck off. Thank you. You're welcome, generic NPC dude. I'm on it. Very nice. Sylvain stole Dimitri's level up. What a chad. I had no choice. I will get the victory. I'll get it. Felix, just punch him. You just crit twice at 5%. Fuck's sake. I'm getting all these mixed signals from this guy. I'll give it my all. I think I forgot to give Ash dead eye. Shit. It's just useful damage, man. Oh shit, she doesn't have a bow. That's right. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. I just need to move Lysithia up. Gotta be ready. Um Fifi. Fifi. Go to Fifi. There you go. Yep, he is going up. Alright. Scythia and Dimitri are gonna fuck him up. I forgot the class change happy again, for fuck's sake. wanted Sylvain to get that. Sylvain's a little behind everybody else, but uh, whatever. It's fine. I'll catch him up eventually. Why are you running that way? I was fixing to say, didn't I actually just like kill the guy that... But no, I didn't. Party in the USA, boys. You are not the one I crave. There's still a long way to go. I'm agreed, you need more decks. Let him get away. Doesn't matter now. Our top priority is to kill Solon. Yeah, well, it looks like you're gonna be the one getting that honor, bro. Um, so we murdered the wizard. You never had a chance. Homeboy is gonna get another level up. Shit! Ah! 
quick. We gotta catch that motherfucker. Go! Okay, Sylvain's definitely not catching him. Yikes. Get wrecked. Thank you. You're welcome. We've rescued as many as we can. Agreed. Oh yeah, that's right. It spawns a couple more. Oh, Sylvain, I've got a present for you. Yeah, it looks like the boar is getting a lot of kills. Yeah, that man realized he needed to get the hell out of there. Fuck off. This is what I do. All right, what's your range? Soon. That's fine. Whatever. How the man just con- well, he like consistently misses with like a high hit percent. That's the part that annoys me. Uh, I'm gonna get the horse slayer. They're not great, honestly. They're kind of just really heavy lances. But whatever, maybe Sylvain can get some use out of it somewhere. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I had thought she wasn't in range. Joke's on me, I guess. Gotta use your head sometimes. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice try, idiot. Over already. Crest sickles are weapons. That's all I really have to say about them. I'd rather not feed Dimitri a boss kill if I can help it. The man is already really high level. So what if I uh what if I just like do this? <laughs> Should I have held back? Nice! Swordmaster! Oh! Oh, and a good level up to top it off. Very nice. Considering there's only like 20 more levels to go, basically. Violet has had a very solid first 20, I would say. Very solid. She's stronger than Dimitri, I think, right now, actually. Yeah, a little bit. It's not gonna last, of course, but, you know, it's funny. Thanks. It's not something you see every day. He's actually been kind of meh so far. A lot weaker than he was last time I played, that's for sure. But it happens, so... He's still gonna be a beast. Even weaker Dimitri is still a beast. Ouch. Ugh. Alright, there goes Gerald getting in my fucking way. Wounded. 
Luna is not enough, huh? Sash eat Ash eats complete shit. But he does get him low enough for Lysithia to kill him. Or he gets low enough for Ash to kill him. Pog. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? Oh, I do believe in numbers. Oh, does the crest get him? It does get him. LOL, dude. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? Huh. I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. I will survey the village. There may still be some survivors. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Geralt, Professor, have you seen His Highness? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery? I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah. Uh. I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I... I'm sorry you saw that side of me in the village. It must have been quite a shock to you and the others. 
I'm mortified by my behavior. When I saw the chaos and violence there, my mind just went completely dark. I see why you would say that. I always strive to keep my emotions at bay, but sometimes the darkness takes hold and it's impossible to suppress. It just shows you how lacking I am. I have much to learn. I've told you before that someday we may find ourselves facing something we simply cannot accept. That's what the chaos in Ramire Village was to me. Solon and the Flame Emperor are both beasts who must be eliminated. Demons who kill the innocent. They aren't even human at this point. It must be hard to fathom. It's true that I don't have any strong connection to those villagers. And yet... You see, Professor, I saw the same flames of torment just four years ago. In Dusker. Please, have mercy! <sighs> the pain! Make the burning stop! Help me! Somebody! Avenge us! Those who killed us! Tear them apart! Destroy them all! <sighs> My father, my stepmother, four years ago, they lost their lives to those flames. I'll never forget. I still remember their faces, their screams, the tortured last moments of every person who died that day. But right now, all that matters is that we do whatever we can to help the surviving villagers get back to their normal lives. Thank you... for everything. There's a reason that I came to the Officer's Academy. Just one reason. I came here for revenge. And one day... I will have it. You did well handling that awful business in Lumire Village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officer's Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all! Without knowing what their objective is, we cannot afford to act recklessly. The Knights will investigate. For now, you and your class should focus on your training. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. 
You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the goddess Sothis protect you. The goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go! Alright, and that is Chapter 8. A very easy mission with spicy plot reveals for the blue lines at least okay and uh we'll start up with the chapter nine next which is the fishing chapter oh good um i'm not gonna record the fishing this time but i'll talk about how i'm gonna do all that in the next video anyway uh thanks for watching hope you enjoyed